Kristen here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making an I-cord wristlet. The materials and concepts you should know are listed on your screen and the free written pattern is available on my blog. The link is in the description box below. Let's get started. So let's quickly review our materials. So you will need 8 meters of a 3 millimeter braided cotton cord. I'm using the cord from Bobney in the color eucalyptus green. And for one bundle, you should be able to make 12 different wristlets. You'll need scissors, a 6 millimeter hook, a lobster swivel clasp, a tapestry needle, and then a ruler or a tape measure of some sort. To begin, you will take the end of your cord and make a slip knot. If you make it too big, don't worry, you can just pull the shorter tail that allow you to adjust the size of the loop. And now you will chain three. Okay, so now that you have your three chains, we'll begin to work in the I-cord technique. Starting off, you'll insert your hook through the middle chain and drop a loop. And then you'll insert your hook into that last chain and drop another loop. You should now have three loops on your hook. And so here's where I vary slightly from the normal technique because I prefer to work from left to right. You'll still end up with a I cord in the end. First, you'll drop a loop in that far left stitch, carefully removing your hook. Then draw up a, another loop in the middle stitch carefully remove your hook again and then draw up a loop in the final stitch but this time do not remove your hook so now you're going to put your middle loop and your left loop back on your hook and then we just repeat this process over and over again so you're going to notice that your working yarn is now on the right side we're just going to bring it over to the left here and work again so drop a loop in the left stitch carefully remove your hook, drop a loop in the middle stitch, carefully remove your hook, drop a loop in that last stitch, do not remove your hook. Place your middle and your left stitch back on your hook and repeat. Drop a loop through the left stitch, drop a loop through the middle stitch, drop a loop through the last stitch. Replace those loops back on your hook and continue on. So I'm going to repeat this until my I cord reaches 13 inches and as I continue on the back part will close up more and it'll be a nice flush uh, I cord. So I'm going to speed through this part and then come back once my cord is 13 inches. Okay, so we've completed the crocheting part of this. Uh, you should have a I cord that is 13 inches. And so carefully remove your hook from the loops and trim the cord. Leave about five inches of cord. Um, you'll need this to seam together the ends of your wristlet. So take your lobster clasp and slide it over the end of your cord doesn't matter where it is right now, we just want to make sure that it's on the wristlet before we seam it to the ends together. I will be using a horizontal mattress stitch to seam my ends together, but you're more than welcome to use whatever your preferred technique is. Um, I like this technique because it creates um, a seam that blends in really well with the other stitches that are around the seam. Taking your tapestry needle, insert it into that first live stitch from the back to the front and carefully pull it through. And then grab the other end of your I cord and insert your tapestry needle around the back of one of the stitches, pulling through your cord. And now reinsert your needle through that live stitch from the front to the back. And as you see, it creates a V stitch that blends in with the other ones. Repeat this process two more times for the middle stitch and the last stitch, and then you finish seaming together your ends. Okay. 
I finished seaming together my ends and here is the seam. The stitches are a little extended but it's just okay. We will be covering this with a wrap knot. Take the remaining tails, uh, the one from the beginning and the one from the end, and tie them together in a double knot. This will just add an extra layer of security and make sure that this does not come untied in, with regular use. So if you have your knot there, trim the ends to about a quarter of an inch and then we will be tucking these in and hiding them with our wrap knot. So now move your lobster clasp in position. You want to move it close to where your seam is, the closer the better. And then fold the two ends together and begin to adjust uh, to help, help tuck that knot into the inside. You want to make sure it's nice and hidden in there so when we make our wrap knot, the ends are not sticking out. The wrap knot is very tight and it will hold it together and keep the ends hidden. To make your wrap knot, take the end of your cord and position it over the area where you want to place the wrap knot. Make a upside down loop and hold it between your fingers. And now we're going to begin to wrap the working cord around the loop that we just created, making sure that the top of that cord is still sticking out of the top because we'll need that later. So I'm going slowly because I want to make sure I wrap this evenly and snug and this gives me the time to adjust as I go. Because this is really tight, it'll be hard to make too many drastic uh, changes once you've completely secured it. So definitely take your time with this part. Um, I'm slowly wrapping and then pushing the piece that I wrapped up so it's nice and close together. And then I'm looking as I go to make sure that nothing is sticking out from the end. So the only thing that you should see sticking out is the tail at the top and the loop at the bottom. So once you've wrapped to the length that you want, trim your cord and then you're going to stick that little tail into the loop that's remaining at the bottom. So I'm going to show you from this angle so you can see it. And now you're going to pull the tail to the very top and pull it slowly and you'll see that the loop begins to tighten around the tail at the bottom. So completely pull it through and then stop. And now you're not as hidden within that wrap portion. So if I would have continued pulling, I would have completely unwrapped the knot and I would have had to make it up again. So just keep in mind, take your time on this part. Once you've trimmed the excess cord at the top, Take your crochet hook and just tuck any piece that might be sticking out into the wrap knot. And now it's nice and hidden and then you're done. And so here's our wristlet. It's all complete. This is perfect for markets, stocking stuffers, gifts. It works up in about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how fast you crochet. And it's just a perfect instant gratification project. Thanks for watching today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!